What's up, everybody? I'm going to be showing you how to convert your very first car mod in FS22. So, uh, first, you're going to want to locate your mod, which is mine's in my download section. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag out to my desktop. Just so I don't have to work around all these folders in my downloads, which I need to delete. Okay, so the second thing we need to do with this file is unzip it and or extract it. And once you extract it, it should pop up like this. And your first thing you want to do is install Notepad++, which I will link in the description. And you're going to open it, uh, your mod desk with Notepad++. Now, this is uh, your mod desk. And then all of your information, your categories, which is in uh, shenanigans. And... Uh, the only thing we want to change is our mod desk version, which is going to be 62 for Farming Simulator 22. So we're going to head save that and close out of that. That'll be it for our mod desk. For next, we're going to uh, um, convert all of our uh, textures um, over to uh, Farm Sim 22. Basically, how we're going to do this is right click on our i3d file and open it with Notepad. Okay, so the only thing you want to worry about is your files right here. And basically, the guy that created this mod, uh, we need to um, fix some of these. So, everything at data, um, all that stuff. So. Uh, Farm Sim 22 does not use PNGs, they use DDS. But first, we're going to be uh, looking at our first line here the dashboard light shader. And uh, that's no longer uh, available in Farm Sim 22, so we're going to have to go back here to our mod change template. And if I can get back here, uh, so it says dashboard light shader. We're going to want to. Um, convert that to a glow shader so I'm going to copy that and uh, paste that sucker in there and that one's fixed um, usually some of your mods will have uh, uh, shaders at vehicle shader you want to uh, have data shaders vehicle shader in there which you'll get from your uh, your mod change template so basically uh, data shared default normal PNG. That's going to be DDS. Uh, no PNGs. Uh, unless if they're like. Actually, yeah, there should be no PNGs. And basically, uh, that's it for this one. It shouldn't throw you any uh, big errors. We're going to exit all that. We're done with uh, the textures and stuff. So. Next thing we want to do is go to our XML, open it with Notepad++, and uh, your first thing you're going to do is we're going to fix the few, uh, fill unit configuration. Now everything should look good on this, but if you want an error-free uh, log, you want to do this for unit text. Actually, it'd just be easier to delete this and go back to our templates and copy that the unit text override. And then your fill unit is done, and it will give you an error, which is really nice. So I, uh, after I do everything, I might I, I just save it so uh, if my computer crashes and stuff, it'll still be on there. So our next thing we'll do is um do our exhaust effect. So this, uh, here's your node. That's what, uh, that's where like your exhaust is. So basically, we're gonna be uh, deleting that and go back to our template and uh, copying that and paste it in there. So uh, you're halfway done with the exhaust fix. So what you want to do now is go back to your folder and open 
open up your i3D. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to uh, update a vehicle shader. And that's fine. Nothing will pop up on your, uh, your giant shader. So I'm just going to exit all that. Go back to our notepad plus plus. And there that sucker is. That's why it would not show up in your, uh, your uh, scenograph and uh, your giant shader. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, put in the new vehicle shader. And that's why you need to uh, always look through twice. So uh, we need to update this vehicle shader. So what we're going to do is just delete it and uh, throw in the new one. And that's basically all. And uh, that was the fix to for our uh, thing giving us an error in Giants Editor. This editor. And look, it showed up. And nothing's flashing. Uh, we only have an error uh, for these. But it isn't game, game breaking. So, uh, I just like to ignore those, because, uh, errors don't really bug me, but they might for you, so. Um, so we're gonna go, uh, to our exhaust particle left, and that's where, like, your exhaust fumes are gonna be coming out. And, uh, you want to copy that index path, copy it. And open up our XML again, and uh, find... Uh, our exhaust effect and just delete this node and put that in and your exhaust should show up next thing we're gonna do is uh, our sounds so I just like to copy this right here and just put it in right there and just copy that whole line and delete this whole line and we can scroll all the way back up to our base, which is right here, and put it in between size and components, and save. And that's basically uh, everything you need to do in your XML, which is pretty cool. So we can X out all that, and X out all that, and uh, save changes to that. <coughs> And we're, uh, we're going to want to go to our sounds folder here and open up our uh, an, our XML. And it should look like this. And what well, uh, what I usually do is I delete the whole thing, go back to our mod change template, and make sure to copy everything right here. And paste it into uh, the sounds folder. So what I do here is I split screen with the sounds folder and the start right there will be Polaris under slash start so I just type in Polaris under slash start and what I do to make it faster is I'll just underline all of that so player start Players stop. Players idle. And players run. And it doesn't look like there's um, a, a load. So we can just delete that line right there. Basically, you're done with your sound. So you can exile that. And uh, your mod should be ready to go into game.